How's it going, amazing people? Ever Air Gaming, Gaming, you another sad episode with more of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Nintendo Switch. And welcome to it. It's the last time because uh, we have uh, gotten the V and the third of this uh, stone. Well, technically, we're able to go ahead and get the, the, the vow of Sidon, which we have the ability to go ahead and produce it by gaining the, uh, the power of water, the stage of water. And now, as you guys can see, we got that Sidon. And so we got Sidon, Tulin, and. What whatever we whichever character we got now, so the third is the um, Riju. So we got all the each of three characters, so that's that's everybody with us. So it means like that we have the um the whole team with us. So the last of the of the um the team that we need to go and get is a uh, Yunobo and it's somewhere back somewhere above the um the Death Mountains. So uh, I wanna go on ahead and explore this um, next row, what, what I'm seeing at the East Reservoir Lake is uh, somewhere around in between because this is take place back somewhere at the Asian Zora Waterworks. So that is the, um, the side quest for Yona and we gotta go get, get that done. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and attack some of these pieces. So we don't have to go ahead and burn up a uh, hovercraft, so why not make our own? So we'll go ahead and place the fan just uh, right about next to this uh, wooden platform. And we got another bit that's doing device which we can literally go and pick that up and try to see if we can attach to it. But I'll, I'll just sit it right over there so that I have a better angle of looking to see where I'm sticking at. Okay, so it's a scene like this um this hard surface of this uh wooden plank can actually go ahead and stick above the uh, the water. So that it don't go draining down. Okay, so let's try Activating this with a soldier free reaper and let's go ahead and steer it the other direction or where we go Yeah, because it gonna make a job way more easier, but wait a minute now I did kill a duck, but uh, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not interested in going right after the meat right now, so um Okay, you know what this is ridiculous. So how in the world is it stuck like that? Okay, well, I'm still in ultra hands because that probably might save it in history. Alright, now let's go steering. So, now we see because the whirlpool is still there. So this is the one where we go ahead and and trigger it from the, um, from the, from the inside beneath the, um, the, the waterbed. Because that's the only way we, we find ourselves a, a sensor device to go activate it to bring up the, uh, the waterfall so that we go and stop all of this uh, slug mess. From causing causing all of this the destruction in Zora Domain. So now moving on our way back to the Agent Waterworks. What is it? The Agent Zora Waterworks? Okay, I got that messed up. Now over I saw because there is a chest that we are still missing, so let's have pull it straight to Link. And we'll try attaching to it. By sticking at it and open to see what we get inside. So what we got here is the Zora Sword. Okay, now that's one of the the, the, the base weapon mechanics that we have uh, not usually pick up. So that have the durability up plus, which is a long Zora sword with a decaying blade made of a metal favored by the Zora. It is used a high attack power when it, it gets wet. Interesting. All right. Well, it may be put in good use. Well, technically we did we, we did hell enough but the free of a weapon. Well, as you guys can see, because that's all the weapon I did have. So I able to scan. Some of my Breath of the Wild and Tear of the Kingdom ami Amiibo to get two of those swords. Well, I still got here. It's a nice board sword, which I got from Bref from my Breath of the Wild Amiibo. And the Soldier board sword, which I got from the Tears of the Kingdom Amiibo. Okay, so well, let's go right after... Yeah, let's get the Soldier Free Blade. Yeah, well, that, that's the Soldier Free Blade, which I still have in my inventory. Okay, so let's uh, get back to exploring. So let's let me see now. Let's go over to our adventure log. So what on earth are we trying to find here? Okay, so so you should now we were supposed to be able to access the agent Zora Waterworld from the reservoir east of uh, of the uh, domain. Okay, we already got that activated. So are you sure we're going the right way? I'm pretty sure that was it, right? Or is the objective telling me that we had to keep exploring more? 
Okay, let's go see. Okay, so this guy named Gu, so let's ask him. Hmm? Well, now, is that not you, Link? Let me guess, uh, have you also come here to the search in search of a lovely new diving spot? If so, uh, I have some heartbreaking news to share. They said, we'll be tough to bear, but I ask that, that you stay strong. Yeah. There is no water here, none. I have a hope to break new ground by diving in the mid of these uh, soul runes. I have, I was a positively uh, brimming with uh, excitement. At last, my joy was a short lived. When I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I could see the ground beneath. I di a diver without water is uh, like a bird without sky. It is a, a sad state of affairs, I assure you. Okay then, now let's uh, go on ahead and look to see what else is new around here so as we go out and explore. So we could definitely tell the tale because uh, it was um, built like, like more than a decade ago because how amazing these these building constructor every other mechanic that we seek on looking at here because it's kind of amazed to me to see how they go and built this but I'm interested to see how I love the fact that how they go and put together in such good detail to it but I, I couldn't stay mad to it by any chance because I just love the fact because Nintendo Nintendo did solid work because they tried so hard so hard to to do all of it because they kind of like uh, build several of the the construction of every other design, which I'm so happy about it. Because uh, I just I love the fact that how Nintendo actually done it, because you couldn't actually see, because Miyamoto did a, a fantastic job on this. So, uh, let's... Let's figure out where we're trying to go next. Alright, so I think I found a solution to solving the problem here, because as you can take a look at what's underneath, because there is this giant hole which go ahead and lead to some secret area of where we need to be headed. So, it seems like because the trickiest way of how we are not even saw observation is that we had to go ahead and find somewhere where it's um where it's pointing out because we had to go and explore the um the, the wonder of the, the Agent Zor Waterwood by locating to see where we can find. Now that's all we can manage while we if we take action we can uh, go back to using the, the blue rock hammer to go destroy this ore. And once we destroy the ore, so we go ahead and pick up one of these, this ember up. And of course, uh, we can go ahead and continue on exploring this area right at the section by finding some more secrets to it. Alright, now let's let's go out in, uh, in journey. And let's see what we can find. So wait a minute, so I'm feeling a a, a, butt, a, a shaking feeling. I mean, like, what, what the heck is it, is it coming from? So wait a minute, that's another stone talus I'm looking at here. Okay, you know what? We can go ahead and battle another stone talus if we want, why not? So yeah, so you come back right out of the ground. So it's another this uh, rock monster we're worrying about here. But you know what, let's go a bit more powerful. Um, let's see, now we do got the soldier blade. But you know what, the soldier free blade is the right way to go. All right, so let's let's keep taking it out. So we get flint inside of it. Okay, and the stone tell is continuing to get back on his feet. Now you know what? It's a fella that we have not found a, a crooked spot in in Zora Domain. Okay, fella, we need to go find that. All right, well we, we want to make sure we keep eating up everything and not lose this battle. So what more can we not go waste? Okay, you know what? We we still got the sky shroom. We'll we'll go with sell of it up. And let's go using Alright, well we got so many choices to choose from. But I I'm able to patch up free the bomb flower, but I'm not getting the bomb flower recently. Okay, so can we like at least hold on? No, no, no. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, Riju, I will need your help on this. So we're trying to stun it. If only I can attack the weak point. Why attack me, dude? Come on. Let's talk it through.
Okay, no, we're gonna just gonna have to keep eating everything. I don't care so much because this this uh, stone teller that we already encountered just took me out already. Okay, so that's supposed to go and take out your weak point, so I can get back on top of the uh, stone teller's head and then go take you out. Come on, can I get closer? Okay, I'm still on my climbing gear and I'm trying to to take down this stone teller's. Okay, don't shake me off. Okay, but you know what? We can still keep eating. And we can, oh, actually, I think we're full. Okay, so we're, we're fine. So you know what? Let's go back to let's go back to the Zora outfit. So I'm gonna put that on, and we will get back to the fight with the Stone Teller. So okay, so it's going to okay. Wait a minute. So uh, Riju, I need you to. To circle that electric, the lighting of yours. Okay, so all of it is covered in light and rage. So we, we go take the direct fire, and that's one way to defeat the other stone towers. Okay, so we can pick up every artificial material on the floor. And you know what, we will be needing another of this, of this uh, stone talus to fuse with, so let's go fuse another. Okay, so that's one of the stone talus heart. Now uh, we go and proceed this way. We go breaking this and get more of these luminous stone. Well, I'm not highly 100% sure what we were supposed to be doing with the luminous stone exactly, but it may be put in good use for later. Okay, so what we're looking at here is another of this waterfall mechanic. But actually, I do want to stock out more of these uh, bomb flowers if I get a chance. Okay, now let's go up this waterfall by swimming upward. And we go climbing up high sky. Now, wait a second. So the trail ends here. But what more can we find here? Okay, guess we're gonna have to stick around and keep looking. Who knows? Okay, but, but we do got another waterfall. Okay, but where exactly do I need to be going? Because I'm seeing all of these waterfall mechanics. So is that it? I mean, is that all we can find here? Can I, okay, get out of the water. Okay, so there's nothing new above it. Now what more can I find around here? But we able to defeat the, the stone teller. Now I'm trying to, to see if we got. Well, I'm, I'm trying to see if we can find some some boulder that we can crack open. Well, hold on. Now let's try to see if we can if we can blow stuff up without getting close. I don't know. I mean, we're at the right place because all of these rocks are slippery. Okay, well that's not be the right area we're going. But we could just stick a while because we could just continue on exploring what's around here. But oh, wait a minute. So I think it's uh, somewhere behind this waterfall, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay, so now what we're looking at here is another this of valuable treasure. So we go open it. So we're able to get the Zora Grease. Okay, well it's been quite a while because I have not actually got the Zora Grease since I'm back in since Breath of the Wild. Since I have already played this. So it just seems like we're, we're able to go ahead and increase up more of the extra speed to our limit to go and upstream up the other uh, waterfall. So since these degrees that have been packed down among the resort for generations, it's just been not say very, very crap is using the dragon skill equipped with them to swim faster. Interesting. Okay, so you know what? I'm I'm interested right now, but let's go put it on. 
But damn, because we look so sick in that Zora uniform. Okay, well that been said and told. Now we want to go back and and find a, a chasm somewhere. So the chasm is uh, way over there. Okay, well that's where we come in. So I want to go back to the shrine where we work to. And I want to try to see if we can go locate to find... The define what's his name? Um, Koga, yeah, that's his name. So, Master Koga is the one we need to go find, and we were supposed to go and look to see where this uh, S mark points because I think that's where we go and find some more valuable treasure. But we may find treasure chest in this S mark, who knows? So, uh, let's go back to Ascending. And actually, you no, know I think we're gonna do. We're gonna try to see if we can do the, do uh, the the death last. I think we should go and find where that geoglyph is. So once we find the geoglyph, then we can go and move back to, to uh, finding Matakoga. Simple as that. So uh, we're gonna go and do some more cooking. So whatever ingredients we have to cook, well, let's go and make the most of it. As we go and press A to the go hold, and we'll go and add up the the, the Highland rice to it. Well, this is my last goat butter, so uh, this goat butter is going to go to waste. And what more can we go and make right out of it? You know what we got here is the armor porgy. And one of his milk. Okay, so we press B. Alright, so we go and cook it to the pot. So see what we make here. So we make here is a tough meaty rice ball. Okay, we're, we already made one of those already. So we want to make something new right out of it. So let's try oil jar, the the raw prime meat, the Hylian rice, and let's see. So we we patch up at least six cane sugar, and the the glowing cave fish. So we're gonna see how E5 mix together. So we made here is the bright meaty rice ball. Okay, but nothing. So we can't make nothing new in it. Oh, hold on, so uh, I think we gotta hold it. Okay, so... Well, we'll keep making the, the raw meat right out of it. So we got more hydro herbs. The, the Hylian Shroom. And the apple. So let's see how E5 mix. So we gotta make something new. Okay, so that's a bright meat and seafood fry. Well, we got more of that. So the time limit only grants you up by five, by four minutes. Okay, so we're gonna keep making everything, and we will get the last four of its our raw meat, and we're gonna cook it to see what we make. Okay, so uh, that is new. That is pretty new. So this is a mighty. A copious, okay, mighty copious simmer fruit. Okay, so it grants a low level of tap power boost. So the flavor of a very fruit in this a simmer dish is it in perfect harmony. Interesting. Okay, so the attack up only grants you up by two minutes and fifty seconds. All right. So um, that's uh, one way to get more about the ten of your hearts. All right then. So uh, that is said and told, we can still keep on cooking and see what sort of ingredients that we can start making. So um, I'm gonna start off with the the puff shroom next. Okay, so we're gonna start off with more raw meat. So we we'll keep fifty, and we got here is the hearty salmon. So uh, let's cook one of that. So we got here is the bright eye crab. And in the last, not only the Hylian rice. So we go add several of these ingredients. Okay, so it still make a W food. Okay, well that's not the, the right ingredient that we ever made. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and get another of this uh, hearty salmon back at the market. So we should definitely get more of that. So let's go ahead and blow 80 rubies on that. And we'll go back to cooking. Okay, so, uh, okay, well, but there's nothing interesting there. So, 
and see what more that we can make right out of this hearty salmon. Let's go ahead and look to see what sort of ingredients that we can start making. Cane sugar, hydrogen rice, raw. Okay, so let's start off with the raw meat. So, um, the raw meat is way down there. Okay. So please let it not, let it not be W food. Please. Okay, perfect. So we'll need another hearty meaty rice ball. I'll take it. Okay, now let's start off with the hydro bass. So we'll hold on to that. The cane sugar, the hyaline rice. And this is my last milk. So, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and waste all of this. So let's see how they... Wait, what? No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's just wrong. But how about we we make another raw meat right out of it, okay? So, same old example. So, uh, let's see where we put that Hyrule Bass at. I know it's around here somewhere, but I'm, I'm just... Well, you know what? Forget it. Let's just stick to, to these dishes. Okay, well, we'll start off with the Mighty Carp. Okay, so we want to look at the icon where it says cook. We press the A button, and then we go skip it with X. And we make another mighty fry egg and rice. Okay, well that's one way to get more stronger. Okay, so we're going to start off with random leads. So we're going to go for more raw meat. More highly and rice. And we'll definitely go for what 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 more can we go for? You know what? We'll go for more cane sugar. Let's see how they mix. Okay, so we still get more of this our hearty ready hearty meaty rice balls. Okay, so take a look for food. Well look to me because that we're making an excellent good progress over here because we can go ahead and make a whole ton of food. Okay, let's keep at it. Now, I'm interested at the moment because I want to go ahead and waste one of this this uh, Swiss carrot. It's what it's called. The the coarser... Okay, what we still got here is the uh, the coarser bee honey. And the last of this cane sugar. So, let's see how we fight mint. So, it better not be double food. Okay, so that go make us another glazed meat. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so uh, we'll go for... Okay, well, at least we still got four of the Hyrule Bass. Let's go and accept that. Okay, so we'll start off with the Hylian Mushroom, the Hylian Tomato, and uh, the Fire Fruit. So let's see how V5 mix. Okay, so let's make it a Scorching Tomato Mushroom Stew. Okay, so I'm pretty... I'm, I'm pretty sure we should go make one more, and once we make one more of them, we'll go ahead and set out the concourse of what we need to be doing by taking on many mystery around here. So I, I want to try to see if we can find one last of the geo, well, one geoglyph somewhere in, somewhere in Lanayru. Okay, now let's get another Hylian rice. Okay, so we'll get another Hylian tomato. And we will go for the last and then only we go for more of this. You know what? Where do we put that? Oh yeah, so we got the raw bird jumpster. We're able to patch up at least nine. So let's see how they make. So that's gonna make a hasty tomato mushroom stew, but which go and get you up to speed by three minutes and thirty seconds. Alright, well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So, take a look for all of our food resources. So, uh, I think we, we, we patch up enough food resources just now. Okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're good. But we don't want to, to spend more time of just wasting so much food. But you know what? We're done. We're all done and set. So, uh, we can go ahead and look to see where, where we need to go just now. Now, I'm going to go back to the tower because I, I really think we should start off by finding one of the uh, geoglyphs somewhere. Somewhere around between. So we should probably go and head back there and find one of the geoglyphs. And once we find the last of this geoglyph, then we'll go ahead and call it the, the quits of the episode. So without further ado, let's go on 
on the head and get settled on, on things by finding one of this uh, geoglyph and we should be all set. Okay, so standing in next to this uh, lunch pad, so we'll go get the skip and go find out where that geoglyph is. So I can barely see where that big chasm is. So let's see, where is that geoglyph now? Oh, okay, so I can barely see because uh, it's uh, right down at the corner. So you know what? Let's have uh, Toon Lingo give me the, the, the boost. And I want to try to see if we can get right after this uh, Karat. Because I'm pretty sure there's uh, one of this Karat we need to go after. Okay, so let's keep getting the boost. And once we build enough juice to it, so we'll actually, you know what? We need to, to go to a resting spot. Okay, so we'll go for a resting spot. Pick up everything we see. And then we will go ahead and refurb our optical just to, to, to climb upwards. So that way we get to the other side of these floating areas. And I guess, okay, so I think this is the... To the platform we we'll go stand on. So what what's pointing downward? I'm a little confused. So we just died downward. So we had to chase right after it. Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, that sounds kind of tricky though. It does sound kind of tricky, but I don't see why not, because uh, I'm going to have to look that up later. Because I don't see the point of reason why I'm I'm, I'm not sticking to my trail of finding where that Kurat is hiding. Now, he, he's all the way down there, where I couldn't possibly see where this Kurat fella is hiding just now. I mean, we're already at Zora Demand. Zora Demand is, is not a hard day for us. Okay, so um, I think we should probably go and, and move up to this waterfall. I'm assuming that is how we go and reach above stream because we we able to to detect to where to find this. Well, let's just say I mean we, we were supposed to find the geoglyph. That's what we came here to do. So uh, let's go ahead and take the, the upstream up this waterfall. Alright, because it's the fastest way because you see because we have the Zora armor and the Greaves on that go ahead and grants us more about extra speed. So we're back here somewhere in the Wellspring Island above gravity. Now we just want to know where that geoglyph is and it's somewhere below down here. Okay, so we can get off gravity. And it's so far away. So uh, I'm going to have to take the, um, the, the death fall down the pathway. But no, yeah, we can get the, the, the paraglide if we want. Okay, so we're going to keep a paraglide in it again. Like I know that Tulin will have more of his uh, guts left in him. So he'll be able to go ahead and get more stamina. And we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing win. And these enemies have an outpost. Or some campsite. Okay, I, don't, I sure they don't mind we crash their party. I mean, I mean that would be a bad idea. But you know what? Let's go ahead and take out several of the Bacobolins and then we'll go move on. Now, let's see here. Okay, so it did saw me. So we're at the monster forces now. <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let me go ahead and switch to my Soldier Free Blade. I really want to keep using that. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the one which have plus two hearts. The, the two pl plus two yellow hearts. Okay, so we will be eating that. So take your best shot. And I'll start by attacking you. So my Soldier Free Blade is done for. Okay, but so it did draw some raw prime meat. Let's go pick some of it up. Okay, you know what? 
I got the lightning strike on you. So I'm gonna go stun you with lightning. Okay, hold on. Let's do the, the finish cycle. Why am I crouching? Link! Quit crouching! Now is not the time. Okay, let's get the DV defense out first. Yeah, that is a lot of McCoblins. I'm looking at here. No, let's get the fire fruit. Okay, well, let's, let's keep at it. Okay, that's a lot of enemies. So, now we got here is the, the big boss for Coblin. Oh my god, no, I'm, I'm done for. Oh, come on, come on. Why? Just, just why did this boss for Coblin have to finish me off? Okay, let's take it to the top. Okay, so here we, here we are back to where we messed up. So, I'm able to go ahead and go to black with my Zora shield of me. And we'll go ahead and do another spinning cycle. So this soldier blade is almost taking badly damage, I'm afraid. So before picking that weapon up, so uh, I want to go in and make sure this this cycle of this area get clear first. So um, I'm gonna go for this Zora sword. I mean, it doesn't do that much, but uh, it will last. But uh, yeah, let's go for the Zora sword right now and see what that do. But it doesn't deal highly enough damage. But you know what? I really prefer that we should start off by fusing some. So let's try to see what we can fuse with. So let's try to see if we can fuse it with... Well, actually, I... Now, I rather prefer that we, we start off by seeing what sort of monster point we have in our spirit possession. Okay, so we got here is the this, uh, Madoga part to it. Okay, so that used by only freezing power, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that and jump on the floor and go to fuse. Okay, well that's far I got. So we're going back to camera. So I get the blue bar for cover already. Yeah, because that's one way to fuse the the monster. So we're able to go and freeze you to death. So let's see what I'm not missing. Okay, so that's a blue bar for cover horn. So let's take that picture and save it to album. Anything else? Okay, so that's a new weapon which is called a gnar wooden stick. Alright, so we'll, we'll take that picture. And we'll go pick up everything. So it seems like this, um, this battle course is not officially over yet. Now let's see here. Yeah, I already got the boomerang already. And that the weapon that I did drop on the floor. So wait a minute. Okay, that's a new one. That's a new one. So it's a Zora Lawn Sword now. Okay, so we will definitely take that picture and take it home with us. So it says that a decade Zora Lawn Sword is suited for battles near water because it's made of an unusual metal that increases the attack power when it's wet. So yeah, so that grants up the ability, the durability by by eight. Okay, so. That's how much you have. And if we go ahead and move up hill, so there are still more of each uh, enemy above it. So now we're looking at here these uh, trapped prisoners. Okay, so these are one of these weapons I did claim. So, uh, okay, I'll let you on in a minute right after I claim my reward. So what we got here, a, a Lino Reaper, a very swinable stick uh, made by honing a a dry branch to the proper fitness and length. Its attack power is much greater than that of a normal stick. I see. Okay, but you know what? We can definitely go give that for a try. Why not? I mean, we don't need another soldier boy, so let's drop that and get that weapon. And we'll go ahead and open this uh, this dusty looking chest there. So we're able to get more by five arrows. And open this last one. So we're able to, to pick up one of the ember. Okay, so I do recall correctly. I do recall correctly because the, the last of this Bacoblin is way up there. Okay, well that's one way to, to finish off the Bacoblin with the with the, the fire arrow. Okay, how on earth are you still alive? What the heck? Okay, we need to go and investigate. You're supposed to be dead. 
So, where is that Bacabalan at now? The music is still playing because of this... This field is not done yet. Oh, wait a minute. So, I think there are still more Bacabalans. Well, we already instant killed the Bacabalan that is a, that is a Hornin. Because it's trying to call for reinforcement, but no, not for long, it's not. I mean, we just go ahead and destroy all of his goons and everything. Okay, I don't see why they had to touch me, but you know what? No, not today you're not. So we go and destroy you. So there's still more? There's still more of the cobblers. Are you kidding me? It's only a, it's, it only got a little bit of this HP bar left. Okay, wait a minute. Is it underneath? Um, okay, well, let's go underneath. So, we got the Ascend. Okay, so let's go back up. Okay, so this is where the, the prisoner got trapped in that cage for some reason. Oh, wait a minute. I, I see, because there is, um, I think the lab of Kabbalah is above the, the surface. So, we're going to switch to this, like, a shove boat doesn't really matter much. So let's just take it down with a one strike. Okay, well it doesn't take a direct blow at it. But you know, we can go ahead and rise up at the surface and take it down. And we'll just go ahead and knock it off the platform by turning it into ice. Well, when Pippin 4 comes out, when we detect that ice Pippin, that I, I'm looking forward to seeing what ice Pippin can do by these enemies. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's, this, can we... Or, or, I don't know. It, it will disable itself. Okay, so now we gotta go and help the other prisoner. Okay, now let's go upward. Pick up that uh, palm fruit. Oh, actually, no, that's not just palm fruit. Well, it, it, I can't go pick it up. Okay, so how do we let you out? Um, I don't know. There's a uh, Lino Reaper. How am I supposed to get you out of here? Um, I don't know with... Can I go use Ultra Hand? Oh, okay, I can. Okay, that's one way to set you free. Thank you, I'm sorry, I despair of thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. A fine question to explain, I must tell you about the blood moon. Some nights, no matter the moon, the phase of rising falling red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turned crimson. And then defeated the monsters appeared again, and there you have it. But Blood Moon, it is my life of worth to research this event. Why did the monster revive? Or what the connects the event to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monster, the ecology, I would have discovered something. But I got you closer and here I am. Please take this for saving me. Okay, so he's offering you this new food which is called salt grilled meat. Short on ingredients, just to rub some meat in the salt and cook it with a, for a simple tasty dish. You want another? Alright. Okay, and he's giving you the sneaky meat and seafood fry. Nice guy. So that's a double, that's a double reward. No, that's not enough to properly convey my gratitude here. Okay, and we get here is this a new potion called the Fairy Tonic. So it's a powerful discovery of or harnesses of the the power of fairies. It has a sweet fragrance. Okay, that's something that has to do to revive you or. Well, we're gonna try to see if we, in, in case we take damage, then we'll see what the fairy tonic can do. And in case we take that in battle. Tonight is a new moon. Hmm. The new moon is a assistant has, has to, to the show herself. Perhaps is she shy? Whoa. Well, I'm sure it won't be again. Now, quick, the let's just split up before a monster spot us. Okay, but we did help you clear the, uh, the monster forces. Okay, so I, I think everything seems clear now. Now that being said, we can go ahead and lift this. Because uh, we'll go ahead and... And can that thing burn? Uh, I mean, I don't care. I mean, let, let's just sit it in the fire. Okay, so we pick up here one of his raw salt. And there's nothing else that we can look around here. So that been settled the score by everything. We can continue on pushing our way through to the geoglyph. So, uh, yeah, now let's go ahead and split a cut. 
Okay, so here we are now. So um, I was able to, to detect another Karat, which should go grant me another seed. So if I go in and grant me a total by 10, if we can go in... Oh, okay, sorry, buddy. <laughs> the, I wouldn't expect to the drop a rock right back at you. But you know what? We're here looking for the um, material drop somewhere around here. But technically, we're just uh, locating our surroundings to see where that was. So now what, what I'm seeing here is um, these are the splash fruit. And, and we can't possibly forget all about that. Because what was the one of the splash fruit we used to go and defeat the sludge? Well, at least uh, we just clean all the sludge and able to defeat the sword, which is uh, coming right out of it. Because uh, we able to take down this uh, monster, which is controlled by the sludge. Alright, now let's go ahead and keep looking up and down so um, no one knows or, or telling how we're supposed to go and find the source of this uh, Lego somewhere around between. So uh, I'll go ahead and do another split for you guys once we go ahead and find out where that lake is. So I'll see you right back. Okay, I think we, we found it. So it's, we, we, we're way on top of that hill. So we're going to examine this. So we're able to, to trigger another cutscene. We'll go ahead and watch another movie, a movie of this memory of, of what's going to happen to the Zelda or or Raru or every, everybody else in it. Well, we're going to have to to look forward to, to see what new mystery we might discover in this next movie. So let's all keep it quiet and watch the movie. So let's enjoy it. King Raru, we just received word that the last free village in the Gerudu Desert has fallen. <sighs> At this rate, the Demon King's army will overwhelm us. I understand. Our only hope is for me to defeat the Demon King. Raru, the Demon King. He is not someone you can stop by yourself. Mm. But you are not alone. You have the Gerudo, <laughs> Goron, Zora, and Rito <laughs> leaders as well as Zelda. And of course, you can count on me. There's something I'd like to show you all. Stand with me. I need all your aid. Okay, read more about it. So this is uh, the Sage of Vow. 
So this, so this is for the tier of the Dragon 9. So it says the back to a corner by the, the attack and all parts of Hyrule leader faced with Demon King for to gather at Rabu's call. He's a given each a Zonai Super Stone up, making them sages with power amplified by the stones. All of the sages are raised of their voices as a one pledge to the fight with the King Rabu to the end. Okay, now I think that's all the group. So now these guys look familiar because, um, or if I meant familiar, but um, but whatever mask up they're wearing, because we couldn't tell this that one in the middle is a uh, Darup, that one on the left is Urboza, and that one further on the right is uh, is Mipha, and the other one um on the right, further on the right, well, not too far from the right, well, the further on the right we see is Zelda, but uh, on the other hand, because I can barely saw on the right further to standing where she he was next to to a uh, Mipha or Z Zelda, I mean he. He looks kind of familiar because I cannot tell if it's, uh, what's this guy's name, um, uh, Rivali? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah, but, I, and, uh, I mean, I cannot tell that's a Teba or Rivali, but, you know, what? I cannot tell the difference about, about that right now. But they, they are similar, similar characters. I, I couldn't tell it apart because both guys look like the, um, the, the old friend from, uh, from Breath of the Wild. But we couldn't possibly see their own two faces because they're just wearing masks. And they get the, um, the secret stone from Rob, which is quite interesting. Okay, so that's uh, one of the uh, 12 memories we've gotten. So we are not knowing where to find the, the 11th memory. So let's see. Now let's look at... Um, Hold on. So where are exactly we supposed to look at? Oh, you know, yeah, you know what? I think we were supposed to go and look at the, the, uh, the main quest from here. Okay, so, it seemed to me, because, um, hold on, so how many did we found? Oh, it's a dragon tier. Okay, so, we now there's only four more left. So, I think there is somewhere, somewhere from above, somewhere back at, um, at the Death Mountain, I think. Yeah, so now I think there's more on top of it. So, uh, we, I actually, I want to go ahead and, well, we're going to keep on getting Lenehru, Le done by later because uh, there's uh, a lot of mystery to go around here because I don't see any shrines anywhere but um, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and keep my look more to see if there are gonna be any shrine activity around here which we can go knocking out yeah I don't see any green light showing from from above but you know what that's how uh, far I couldn't tell where that shrine can possibly be because that's how far we can manage here on from here on out so I believe that's going to be all. Let you guys so next time on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, we are going to continue our expedition because uh, we got here is um more to settle the score because um we we got here is uh, a whole bunch of these karate that we still got to keep correct collecting because as you can see because this um this platform or whatever we're looking at here is the way we would go ahead and get another karate right back out of the um the karate to complete the time challenge. And yeah, because there's uh, like too much to do around here, because uh, there's a lot of this opening landmark to go around here. So y'all are going to have to stay tuned on the next series so you don't go anywhere, and you will be particular and stay tuned on the next video. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode with me. So if you're enjoying the episode and you want to see more of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, be sure to leave an advertise to like, share the video, and subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, ring the notification bell so that you'll be still up there notified to one of my new and awesome videos top of the way. So just making sure you guys are staying tuned in and by all means, all that you should want to be in the description or fill down below. So if you'd like to help support the series, you're more than welcome to read this step by step. You just to help get you started on support my channel and for the series. So that is going to be all it for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care guys. I hope to talk to you on the next video.